I'm just like so done with life, I guess. Travagashimita! Nothing is wrong with being a potato, but sometimes you just want to be french fries, you know? <laughs> Hello. So today we're doing another shop update and last time some of you said that you got really nervous for me during my shop update or you're feeling secondhand anxiety so I would like to apologize and this time I'm going to do a very chill shop update. We're gonna be very zen, okay? We're gonna try not to panic even though it's already 9.40 and I'm supposed to get this all out and done by 10 a.m. We're gonna take it slow. And at this point, I feel like I've done so many shop updates on YouTube that I feel like I should do like like add in some tips in this portion. Things that make my life and my update streamline a lot better. And also, I learned some of these tips from you guys, so I think I should share that knowledge. So tip number one, wear comfy clothes. I'm literally in like a sweater and leggings right now. You want to have your... Uh, anxiety plushie nearby so if you're panicking you can you know hug your anxiety plushie this is ronnie next thing is just make sure you have everything prepared from the night before so that while you're doing everything it's very efficient and less stressful what i usually do the day or days before my shop update is take advantage of the bright natural light in my apartment around like morning time, so like right now. And I just take a lot of photos of my merch in different angles. I get some where they're individually for Etsy and I get one where everything is in it for the main Instagram post. Usually for the Instagram post, I like doing a carousel of like a few images based off of how many things I have to show. So for this one, I just did one for my magnets. I did one for my new prints. And I also did one for my new thank you cards, which I'm super happy about. They came out like super cute. And I take all of those into Procreate and I kind of add like these little embellishments. It just kind of adds a little bit more interest to the pictures and I think people appreciate it a bit more. So I just, for the main spread, I work a lot harder on it, obviously, because it has to be more eye-catching than the rest of them. And then the next slide can just be a more simple embellishment. Something I also just prepared was like the story post that I'm going to do. I also wanted to tell everybody about the restock. So I have some restock images. I have some like background blank, I guess, texture images for the stories, which I'll show you how to do later. And last night, I also went in and added the two new products that I'm releasing today just so that everything's ready and I can just press like vacation mode off and then everything will be there. I also went ahead and restocked all of my products in my break because that's like the perfect time. You just pay for it and then wait for it to ship in. But there are a lot of things that I didn't restock which take a lot longer to manufacture. So I mainly just restocked my stable products. So mainly stickers, prints and stuff like that. So now let's just prepare our post. A lot of people last time were telling me that there was this thing or you can like save your post as a draft, which I kind of already knew, but I just didn't choose to use it for some reason. I don't know why, but you can literally select your carousel images. And then, so I have four images and then you can literally just, all you do is write, okay, yeah, sure. I'll just write shop is back. But anyways, I usually write a bit more. I currently don't add any hashtags anymore just because I feel like when I look at the like statistics of like if the hashtags actually work for me, none of them actually do too much. So I just kind of forgot about hashtags and just wrote whatever I felt like writing. And uh, yeah, but anyways, after you write your description and all those things and you want to save as a draft, you just pretty much keep pressing back. And then down here you can save draft so that when you're ready to post your draft you just click on it's like it's literally like right there it makes your life so much easier everything's like already set when you go back and then yeah that's that's it 
Okay, so I've written my description. I didn't do it on camera because I'm kind of, I get kind of nervous working on camera, but I feel like descriptions are more fun when you're kind of bringing a little bit of yourself and your personality into it. And I also notice a lot with like Instagram posts when you're writing more about like your experiences and what you're feeling, more people tend to enjoy reading that post rather than like it just being a drawing and writing like, I don't know, happy times or something like super simple. I feel like people take a lot more inspiration when your description has something to give. So I do feel like longer descriptions or like stories about why you drew the illustration you drew or the picture you posted, I feel like it's more helpful and people like it more. Now that I have that done, I'm going to save it. Now I also selected um, it to automatically post to Facebook, so that's one thing that I don't have to worry about. Oh, I also forgot one thing. Write link in bio at the end of it so that people know where to go for the shop update. Okay, so now that we're done with like the Instagram post post, I think it's also very beneficial to put everything else on your other social media platforms even if it's not a big following on them. I usually do like automatic posts for Twitter and Facebook. I use Later, which this isn't sponsored, but Later if you want to sponsor me, I freaking love you. But Later.com kind of like posts it for you. Right now I have like the free plan so it only posts one image. But I feel like for Facebook and Twitter, I don't really care about including too many images just because like, I feel like one image does it well enough. So I set those to automatic posts. I do an automatic post for Patreon. And then all I have to do left after saving all those drafts is to wait till 10 and reopen my shop and hopefully everything posts smoothly, which it usually does. But I'm trying to be less hard on myself and not get it out at exactly 10. I think because I used to work a full-time job doing marketing stuff like this, I always felt like really pressured to be on time and like get everything out. But honestly, it's not really that different, I feel like, if you post a story like five minutes later than the actual post. I will, I will be back at 10 when I have to start designing stories. And I'll show you how I make it cute. So what I'm actually going to do now is activate my store a little bit early because I feel like I need to do that in order to make Patreon's coupon code for this month. So I'm going to just do that first. I forgot how to I forgot how to take it off of vacation mode. Panic. It's 10, but don't panic. Why is time passing so fast right now? Okay, okay, okay. I found it. Off. Save. Okay, we a little bit behind, but that's fine. We zen. We calm. Okay, so right now I'm gonna just post it. You know what? I'm gonna just post it. Remember, drafts. Next. And then make sure everything looks good. Share it. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you what I usually do for stories because a lot of people actually didn't know this was a thing until I mentioned it, apparently. But anyways, I selected one of my background images, which is just a texture of my rug. And sometimes I like to use the filters to make it pop a bit more. Next, you want to head to the sticker button and scroll down to this little thing. So apparently, from what I know, this button right here, the photo button, is only on iOS. That's kind of why I changed to an iPhone because it made my life so much easier. But yeah, you can do that and then select your images. So right now, I'm going to do this one. And you can also change it into a square. Right now, it's a rounded rectangle but you can like change it into a squared off edge. And what you can also do is put multiple images into one story, which I feel like is very helpful. This cuts out Photoshop 
and procreate from my editing process when I post stories, then go ahead and add some decorative stickers. I usually like to stick with more basic stickers because I already decorated my drawings. So it makes sense to just stick with more simple stickers. It really just adds movement to your story, which draws attention kind of. All right, there you go. Oh, and also make sure you, if you have 10K plus followers, you get this feature where you can add your website to it. And if you don't have this, just write simply on the story. If you don't have this option, just write link in bio and make sure you have your shop in your bio. And that's how I used to do it before I had 10K. And now this is ready to send. Boop, boop. You thank you cards. Also a tip for sticker hunting because you don't get to see every single sticker under one label. I kind of like, for example, if I'm looking for a thank you sticker, and I can't find one I like, I just write variations of thank you. So like I write thank, and then there's a lot more option or thanks, and then it switches to even more options. And that's kind of how I find stickers. So usually after like the post and everything have gone through, I kind of just reply to comments and make sure everything's running smoothly for the next like hour or so. And I answer any questions that people have, any like concerns they have. Like right now there's the whole VAT thing that people have to register for. I did a little bit of research and asked around a little bit and apparently Etsy kind of collects the VAT fees for you. I am not really familiar with that outside of Etsy, but there was a thing on Etsy that said that they will collect it if needed. And so I'm gonna just trust Etsy. This is the last tip for you. Having shop updates is a really like anxiety fueled situation. I feel like when you release a part of yourself into the world, whether it's like a YouTube video or like a shop update, something that you've put your heart and soul into, it's very taxing on you emotionally. And so as important as it is to like constantly check to see if everything's okay, I think at a certain point you do have to step aside and realize that everything's running smoothly and you just have to turn off your devices and kind of take some time for yourself and appreciate that you've put a lot of hard work into it and it's just time for you to relax and just let it flow. And what I kind of like to do usually is like go to the park or after I release something, I finally eat breakfast because I'm usually not hungry the day of shop releases just because I am a bit nervous and I'm, I just wanna get everything done before I start relaxing. So maybe cook yourself a meal, have a nice warm bed party with tea, um, video chat some friends, I don't know, just relax a little bit. And when you feel ready again, you can start packing orders and fulfilling them. If you, if any of you are having a shop update anytime soon, I wish you the best of luck with your shop update. Now I'm gonna go chill, so peace. my current situation I thought I would be productive and start packing orders because they're rolling in kind of fast so I should I should start doing that I have about 30 on the table right now so I already printed out the addresses on sticker paper it makes life so much easier I just use the one from like sheetlabels.com there's like 30 label stickers on each page. It's like a um, letter size and I kind of just print it out and then stick it on. Right now I'm just doing orders that 
only need an envelope to mail out and a stamp. I like to separate it through Etsy and I separate out all the um, like padded mailers or flat mailers from the envelope orders just to make my life easier because I feel like this flows a lot easier when you're doing like the same type of packaging. One of my biggest takeaways from packing all of the orders that I've gotten is that it's easier to pack orders if you group things. So for example, like I said earlier, how I group um, padded mailer and flat mailer orders separately than envelope orders. I do the same with putting stamps on domestic orders versus international orders. This way I don't have to constantly have my brain switch back and forth between grabbing the international stamps and the domestic stamp. So whenever you group things and you kind of like streamline it so that every order you're packing is very similar, it's a lot easier for the process to go by faster and that's... I hope that's a helpful tip. I actually... it took me a while to learn that because I used to actually pack each order individually. Like I'll literally grab the padded envelope, I'll um, write the name of the customer on it. I'll take one sticker at a time, one keychain or whatnot, one thank you card, and then I will pack it that way. But now these days, I kind of lay everything out on the table and then grab all the products, stick on the like the labels onto each envelope, and it's just a lot faster that way. So yes, try it out if you haven't already. I kind of want to do my makeup just because I realized I want this entire like pandemic indoors without doing my makeup and all of a sudden I just kind of want to do it. So that means I have to put on my contacts which I haven't done in a long time. Okay so this expired. My mom went ahead and labeled all the right eyes for me and all the left eyes don't have labels so that's pretty nice of her. I actually used to wear contacts quite a bit for work, but they just got too dry. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it feels so weird. My face is naked. <laughs> ah. oh. So on today's agenda, I'm supposed to be filming my Patreon video. I have to write out kind of like a little script for it and then I have to do some Patreon reward designs which I already have a sketch for. I started sketching it last night. I wanted to get a head start and I ended up doing like a like a kind of Valentine's theme, very loosely based Valentine's theme doggo catto sticker sheet. So that's gonna be exciting because I haven't done a sticker sheet for Patreon in a long time and I think it would be a fun idea. It was heavily inspired by my friend's dog and her three cats because she just has the cutest, most well-behaved animals in the world. She was showing me how um, her dog rings a doorbell to go outside to pee and then when she's done peeing, there's like this song that plays, like this really royal like regal sounding melody and then the dog just kind of sits outside until the melody is over and then comes in like that's so well behaved I'm literally just using my fingers like I don't what are brushes I also like to put some of this highlight I don't even know where I got this I think someone gave it to me but it makes my nose look shiny so I ain't complaining I feel like makeup for me is like drawing where I'm literally just BSing my way through with what I think. I learned from like all the YouTube videos that I've watched. I can tell just by looking at my face that I've been wearing glasses for way too long. Like my mom told me to never wear glasses for way too long of a period of time without wearing contacts because then your eyes just look like glasses eyes where it's like your eyes start to sink 
like look like they're sinking in or they look dead on the outside and so i feel like when i look at my eyes it looks so dead i'm just like so done with life i guess uh, i dead ass feel like the last time i did my makeup was when i went clubbing which was like almost a year ago or actually that was a year ago because covid has been a whole year what the heck wait there's no ink in this okay i just literally put water on it and i think it worked let me i forgot to fill out my mood chart let me let me do that real fast wait oh okay i remember what happened i remember what happened last night i was taking out my poster markers to fill out my mood chart and then i had this beautiful grand tiktok idea i'll just leave it here if you want to watch it it's really dumb it's chaotic energy at late at night hi i need you to tell me if i'm being dumb or if i'm being smart so we all love post markers right and you know how before you start using them you have to like you have to shake them a lot until paint comes out but has anyone thought of just shaking them in the box like you can save literally so much time by doing this. Am I dumb or am I smart? Tell me. Okay, what's today's date? Wait, today's the 19th. I missed like five days. I feel like I've always started these like year-long projects where you fill out something or like you write something every day and I never end up finishing it because i forget that it's up here and it makes sense i forgot like to fill it out for like four days straight so i just kind of guessed what i was feeling hi patrons hi patrons how are you doing how are we all holding up hi patrons how oh. hi patrons oh, so cringy i'm so cringy oh my god Hi patrons! So today I want to talk about how I compose my pictures for my products. Okay, bye! This is me trying to use every ingredient imaginable from my fridge to make fried rice. When it feels like I've been fading to the background Don't leave my room for like a week, don't wanna go out these moments keep reminding me of just how Just how you can't have the highs without the letdowns I overcomplicate, I underestimate How easy it is to live like this Feel better if I take my time Just a second then I'll be alright I know that there's a love that won't find me There's something about that feeling The parking continues. This right here, this, this right here has to be the most satisfying thing ever to click. <sighs> I was just replying to a lot of emails and all of a sudden felt so overwhelmed with how much 
I had to give socially and emotionally for some reason and I don't I don't know why I think I just really don't like replying to emails I've always been like such an introvert and any type of conversation even if it's over like an email or like a text it just like drains me so much emotionally and I just can't I just have to step away from it I literally only replied to like three or four emails and I'm already feeling like so anxious and I feel like it's because I'm mistakenly putting an emotion to the other person in the conversation so for example like I'm misinterpreting that they're either mad at me or they're just annoyed at me I want to get rid of me or just some stupid reason that my anxiety is making up and that's why I'm just like always emotionally drained even though it could literally just be they're 40 years old and the way they like to type is by using a lot of periods and dot 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 dots because that's just what they're used to but I don't know I just I'm gonna just cook my fried rice because I I cannot deal with the with emotions right now so I'm gonna eat the moe. I am going back into potato mode. I can only wear contacts for so long before they start drying out my eyes. But I do have to say, wearing makeup for a day is definitely a confident boost that I needed. Because I felt like a potato, which nothing is wrong with being a potato, but sometimes you just want to be french fries, you know? Sometimes you just want to be gnocchi, something fine. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm so tired. with you to Georgia Have you ever been in love dove in from I ordered Chipotle to pick up but it's not gonna be ready till like 15 minutes later so I don't know what I'm gonna do for 15 minutes Ooh, I wanna show you the mountains Okay, I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull to the side to show you the pretty mountain. Eh. Eh. Parking. Do you see the mountains? They're kind of pretty today. I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing, but the sky looks freaking clear. We got a brand new night. So last night I actually continued doing my Patreon stickers but I didn't really want to film it because I just I want to film me drawing things less just because I feel like it's harder for me to actually work when the camera's always running but I want to show you the progress I have so far. So I was thinking of making a 4x4 sticker sheet and it's gonna be a square. I'm trying to experiment a little bit more with the Patreon sticker sheets just because I feel like all of mine are kind of like drawn the same way. So like last time I did like a more line art looking sticker and this time I'm actually going in with like the Rizo brushes and I'm making that like more textured overlap look. I like how it turned out. I'm so excited for this sticker. I hope I hope my patrons like it too. And I'm gonna try ordering a lot more extra because I keep running out of stickers by the end of the month. And I do wanna keep some extras in my Patreon exclusive secret shop just so that people actually have something to shop for when they go into it. Right. 
There's a cave here. Still doing stickers. Ah, sticker. What are you doing? Editing video. I feel like y'all are such influencers. Oh god. <laughs> Joseph just yawled us. Y'all. <laughs> hoi. Hoi hoi hoi. I'm I'm dealing with a lot of adult things, so I thought I would just close out the vlog for this week. Um, I'm feeling very, very anxious and very moody, so I don't, I don't know, I'm just trying to step away and take a break from everything. And I'll come back to it later today when I feel better. But I just wanted to come on here to say thank you. Y'all are so cool. And literally, when I feel all these feelings, like all these negative feelings, I'm trying to remind myself that I have all of you like literally people that support everything that I do and I'm very 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 happy that I have you guys and shout out to my patrons for being the homies I have a tiny announcement um, Makeship asked me if I wanted to do a giveaway of one of these plushies now this giveaway is happening this next week for a few days. I have a post of it on my Instagram. It's an Instagram giveaway, so if you want to if you want to go on Instagram to look for the rules and such, I'll link it below. I'll link the post of the giveaway below and I would love it if you would enter. Now, the winner of this giveaway will only get the plushie if we reach our 400 goal. So, thank you for everyone that's already pledged to make this happen. I think right now we're at around like 212. I'm going to I'm going to put in my 3. I'm going to like buy 3 of them right now for like potential like future giveaways. We're down to our last like 2 weeks and 1 day. We have around 15 days left. I would be very grateful if you made this happen for me and Ronnie says take me home. Please take me home. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. I hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of your day and week and month and year. And I hope you're not feeling as down as I am. Um, but yeah, bye. Okay, now just remember. Since then I'll bring it to you. Yeah, I haven't left the house in a while.